Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dippin here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today I get the opportunity to show you a brand new Transcend just pulled in, not a couple hours ago. It's a 255 FK 2022. We're gonna get you on the outside, we'll get you inside, we'll see what you think. We are right next to the highway on 53 here up in Duluth, right next to the airport. Kind of give you a little idea of where we're at. Um, so there are gonna be some vehicles, so I apologize about some of the road noise here. We're gonna do our best to get through here. Um, we're going to start right up front. This has some awesome pass-through storage. Really tall. You got motion lights in here. You can fit almost anything. Chairs, fishing rods. I mean, this thing is huge up front. Really unique. Also up front here, two 20-pound LP tanks that we are going to fill for you here at Bullion RV. That's included in the deal. Also in the deal, we're going to throw a 27 deep cycle battery at the battery box. It's going to live right there for you. Coming on the back side, here is the other pass-through storage. Solar amp controller up top. You do have your uh, water hookups. You have power. You got your battery disconnect in here as well. Satellite and cable hookup from the campsite. And then what I like is you can run all your water hoses right down through here. Keep this door closed so they're not popping off the side. I think that's awesome. Like I said, here are those motion lights. So you got a couple lights in your pass-through storage as well. Furnace is on the back side, so you don't gotta worry about the kids touching that usually if they're in the front. No slide on this unit, so kind of got a black tank flush there. But this is the back side of it. Come around the back side. You do have a ladder to the fully walkable roof. Also right up top, I don't know if you can see we'll go out the sun, right up there under the, above the transcend, you can see that little black dot, it'll be right there. That is prep for uh, Fury on backup camera. Another nice feature is you got some more outdoor storage in the back of this camper again with another motion light, it's gonna be right here. Full spare tire on the back as well. All right, now come around to the front campsite. I'm going to back up. You got two entry doors. Awning covers both of them. Indoor, outdoor speakers. You got a nice LED light under there. These are pitch adjustable. So you can pull it down, kind of run some rain off for you. Dual axle. Nice window from the dinette. Keep an eye on the kids at the campfire. You do have power outside as well, so if you want to put a waffle maker or anything outside. Nice look. Aluminum stairs, nice big grab handle. You got an armored um, underbelly package, so you got a fully enclosed underbelly in here as well. Coming inside, you have your central convenience center. Put your on and out, ceiling lights, check all your tanks. Everything's right there right as you walk in. Also walk in, we'll kind of get you down here. Nice spot for shoes, storage, kick it all under there. Nice little storage drawers, so maybe throw some devices in there, camera, camera batteries. You do have a power port right here, so you can charge stuff right up when you walk in. This has got a front kitchen, a lot of storage in here. Really nice pantry. And these transcends, you can really feel the quality of the doors and you're opening everything. I really like that ton of storage above and what's really nice is this stuff doesn't have any extra walls or anything so it's really big you have some longer items um, it's kind of nice to be able to not be restricted to what you have power kind of all over maybe put a nice little coffee maker here maybe a crock pot in this corner you got some lights you got your microwave Get your three burner oven and the, the three burner stove and cooktop. Nice spot for pots and pans. You do have the 12 volt fridge, which is going to give you a nice big fridge and freezer in here. I mean, this one has been plugged in for how oh, 15 minutes and it's already creating the cold. I don't know if the camera can kind of pick it up, but freezer's getting cold, fridge is getting cold. Really efficient fridge and freezer in here. Also down below, a little more storage down here. 
another door, maybe put, if you've got pets, dog dishes down there. Uh, one thing I want you to notice as well is there's absolutely no carpet in this unit and there are no floor heat vents. So again, if you've got the pets or the kids, you're going to keep all that dirt up out of the ducts. They all are going to be all coming off of some of the sides. So uh, this section, the table here, will fold down for a bed. You got your entertainment right above with a nice CD player, HDMI, Bluetooth, uh, USB all on there. Uh, this bench is great. Folds down into another sleeping area if you need it. Just kind of folds over. You can see that bar right here is going to be your support bar for when you do drop it down. Um, so that folds out into a really nice bed there. Storage up above it. Yeah, it's really simple. Just you know, got camera in one hand, fold it up and over. Really simple. Move you into the bathroom. Really nice size bathroom. Spans the width of the camper. So you got a nice sink area, outlets, a little bit of storage. Pop garbage can right there if you'd like. Nice little corner medicine cabinet. Kind of keep some stuff in there. Throw you a towel hook on both sides of the door. Really nice shower with a skylight. Give you an extra headroom. Give you all that extra light in there as well. You got a porcelain stool in here. Keep it nice and clean. Keep it more residential. Pocket doors on both sides of the bathroom. But just a space you can really even get changed in. Um, really deep. Let's see if we can kind of get it better with lighting. Really deep storage here for towels. Move back into the bedroom. There's that second entry right into the bedroom, which is really nice. So if you did have kids that were sleeping and you wanted to stay a little later, just pop in the bedroom and then walk through the whole camper, which is great. You got wardrobe storage on both sides. You got power and USB on both sides. They put a CPAP machine. You can tuck some stuff up under here. You got a vent. In the bedroom as well it is ducted for ac you can just put a tv back here if you'd like and then you got more storage kind of right in the front i don't know if you can kind of see it but right here some hanging storage maybe you can hang some stuff there if you'd like and some more really nice deep drawers And then yes, the bed does pull up and gives you a really good amount of storage up under that bed as well. Held up by gas struts so you don't have to hold the bed up while you're searching around for all your stuff. So that's really nice right there. So yeah, like I said, it's Transcends here at Bullion RV just pulled in. 255 FK. We are doing a Memorial Day uh, sale going on, so give us a call. Hey, my name is Kyle Dittman. I'd love to help you out any way I can. My number is 218-740-4964. Shoot me a text, shoot me a call. Let me know what you like about this video. Uh, check out a lot of my other videos. Um, let me know what you want to have me include in some more videos. Um, I always kind of trying to learn and get the most information out to you guys. That's the most helpful. Um, that's what we're try trying to do here at Bullion RV. So again, like I said, my name is Kyle Dittman. Write my number down, 218-740-4964. Give me a shout. Let me know what I can do for you. Hope to hear from you soon. Happy camping.